Today we are crocheting the botanical Japanese knot bag. This block colored bag is beginner friendly and features the knit stitch. The written pattern is free on my blog. If you would like to support me as a pattern designer while getting an ad free and printable version, I also have the PDF pattern available for purchase. All these links are in the description box. Let's talk about the materials. You'll first need some bulky number no. 5 weight yarn, approximately 360 yards. I use Knit Pick Spillow yarn, specifically two skeins of off-white and one skein of green. I also use a 6mm crochet hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. Let's get started. First, crochet the leaf charm if you'd like to attach it to your bag. It's in a separate tutorial linked in the description box. Doing so first will allow you to use the rest of the green yarn for the bottom of the bag without having to play yarn chicken. For rounds 1 to round 14, follow the written pattern instructions to crochet a circle using single crochets, increasing 6 stitches each round. So going from 6 to 12 to 18, the last round will have 84 stitches. After that, from round 15 to round 24, you're simply going to single crochet around with no increasing or decreasing. After you finish round 24, you can flatten your piece and measure it from rounds 1 to 24. It should measure about 6.5 inches. And you can go ahead and change colors after round 24 using the invisible color change. Or if um, you plan to just use up the rest of your green yarn like me, stop when you're done and pull the yarn end through. Just like that. For the invisible color change, you're going to skip the next stitch and go into the following one. So here I'm skipping the next one, going into the following. Pull yarn through in the back, insert your hook from the back loop into the center, and pull yarn through again. This creates a fake stitch, and this is where you will have a seamless transition. Now, for round 25, you're going to attach the new color and basically single crochet around for one round using this new color. So here I am crocheting around, again, no increasing at all, just one single crochet in each stitch. You can also do what I'm doing, which is crocheting um, with the yarn tail inside. This way you don't have to weave in that yarn tail. After you finish round 25, you're going to do round 26, which is a knit stitch round. And instead of crocheting into or under the two loops like normal, you're going to go inside of the next stitch. So go into the middle of the V shape. I'm going to demonstrate that a few times. So here, stick your hook right inside the V shape, yarn over, pull out, and finish your single crochet like normal. I have a detailed and slower tutorial for the knit stitch. If you'd like to see how that's done, just check out the link in the description box for that. Um, but here, essentially, you're just inserting your hook inside of those V shapes and pulling through for your single crochet. So from round 26 um, and for the rest of the body of the back, you're simply going to be knit stitching around. Here I've crocheted quite a few rounds, repeating this knit stitch all the way to about five and a half inches 
uh, for this color only. And in total, from the finish round to the first round, it's about 12 inches tall. You can go ahead and keep crocheting more rounds if you'd like, or if you feel like you um, want to work the bag like mine, then you would stop at around five and a half inches here or 12 inches from round one to the end. Now I'm gonna show you how to crochet the straps. We're gonna start with the shorter strap here. And what you'll do is picking up where you left off, you're going to simply single crochet 10 across. And as you crochet, you can go back to the regular single crochet. You don't need to do the knit stitch any longer for this. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. This is how wide the strap is going to be. You can go ahead and add more stitches if you want or fewer, but I would suggest going between 10 and 12 stitches. You know what, maybe I'll do 12. Let me just add two more. I kind of like the look of thicker or wider um, straps. All right. All right, I decided to change the camera angle a little, make it easier to see. For round two of the straps, you're simply going to chain one, turn your piece, and single crochet across. Um, and that's gonna be 12 stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we're going to basically um, repeat this by making a chain to start the round, single crocheting all the way across. All right, so I finished up my shorter strap here. I stopped when my strap was about six inches in length from um, the last round to the very first. This is six inches. And once you have that done, you're gonna fasten off with a very long tail to sew it to the bag on the other side later. I'll show you that in the finishing instructions. To do the second strap, what you're going to do is count across um, 18 single crochets. Make sure you have your bag laid out flat and you are going to simply count with the first strap to the right you're gonna to count to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And in the next stitch, you're going to insert your hook and pull your yarn through. After you do that, you're going to chain one to start and single crochet in the very same stitch. Then you're gonna single crochet 11 across for a total of 12 single crochets in this row. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, so that is my twelve single crochets for the second strap. Um, after that first round, you're going to chain one, turn your piece and single crochet across. 
kind of like what you did for your first strap. Excuse me, not kind of, exactly like what you did for your first strap. <laughs> and you're going to repeat the second round, round two, until your strap reaches a certain length, which I will let you know soon, uh, right after I cut the video here, because I need to, um, I'm designing as I go. <laughs> All right, so we'll meet back in just a little bit. All right, so here is my bag so far with both of the straps done now. The shorter strap is six inches in height or in length, and the longer strap is 14 inches from the where we started round one to the very top. So you can make your straps longer or shorter, um, but I recommend to stay around the same ballpark as mine if you'd like it to achieve the same look. Um, so again, that's 14 inches for the long one. Both straps will be folded in half as they will be sewn with the long tail that you fastened off to the other side of the bag. So in the end, they will look a little something like this. About three inches tall here and about seven inches tall here for the bag. When you are ready to do the sewing, you can start with either strap. Um, I'm going to start with the longer strap here because um, the you can see where the neck stitch is right away. You're going to thread your yarn needle and thread the long uh, thread it with the long tail that you used for fastening off and you're gonna want to work in just the following stitch so here is the stitch that um, you left off at with the strap we're gonna go into the one adjacent to it just the very next one to start sewing this piece together. So we're gonna kind of move stitch by stitch. I'm gonna insert my yarn needle into this first stitch and work into um, this first stitch here. Like so. Then I'm gonna go into the next stitch And I'm going to sew it with the next open one together. I like to go through the, um, make sure I go through the same loop to strengthen the stitching. So I am going to kind of double um, go over it twice. All right, so here I've gone into the third stitch and I'm gonna go down, find the third stitch that's open, go into the third stitch again, kind of double strengthen it with two, two stitches, go into the next one. All right, there you have it. I've gone all the way across to the very end. And at this point, you can go ahead and kind of fasten off by weaving in your ends. You are basically just going to repeat on the other side. So after you have the first strap sewn on, you are going to fold the next uh, strap down in half and 
insert the yarn end through your yarn needle like so and start stitching it together stitch by stitch all the way across. So here's the 12th stitch. I'm just going to go in stitch by stitch. When you are done, simply weave in your ends and fasten off. And your bag will be complete. Um, the long strap would go into, in and through the short strap here. So if you open up the opening, you can pull it through like so. And it would look really lovely. If you wanted to make the optional leaf to go with your bag, you can do so. I had made my leaf earlier and I am just going to get a yarn needle and sew it um down you can go ahead and check out the pattern for the sleeve in uh, my other video i have that available linked in the description and let me just make a few stitches to sew it together And there it is. All right, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this bag is a fun make. It's very therapeutic because there's not a lot of um, counting you have to do except at the very beginning when you're making that round shape. But most of the pattern is just worked in continuous rounds of the same stitch. Um, I opted for this knit stitch here. As you can see, it provides this nice knit look. You can also keep with the single crochets to match the bottom of the bag if you want. Um, thank you so much for watching and hope you have a fun time crocheting. Bye now. By the way, if any of you wanted to know how my yarn chicken game went, I happened to win by a little bit here. So I used exactly, um, well, Including this, I used three skeins of yarn. This is the billow yarn that I used. Um, I used one skein of the green and two of this lovely off-white. If you had opted for um, the single crochet stitch, you would not need as much yarn because the knit stitch that I used here is very dense. So it's, um, it eats up yarn pretty quickly. So I used knit stitch for five and a half inches, I believe, here um, for the body of my bag. And so that ate up quite a bit of yarn. And by the time I got to the end to do the handles, I kind of um, only had this little bit left. Here's a look. If you um, are adventurous and you're doing single crochets, for instance, you could definitely go higher up. You don't need to stop at five and a half inches if you'd want a larger, deeper bag. Um, but if you're doing the knit stitch, you would probably want to stop at five and a half inches just so you have a bit of yarn left over um, instead of running out at the very end. All right. And it makes for a really lovely um, bag. Definitely a nice, generous size. Quite like it. And the yarn has been so fun to work with. I'm not quite used to yarn that has different um, sort of thicknesses from 
um, the same skein. So with this billow yarn, um, sometimes the yarn was very thin like this, and other times it was thick. So it was, it provided some really interesting texture, as you can see. It was new to me and um, I quite liked it. And hope you'll try it out if you want to. All right, thanks so much for watching.